नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर जमाल अली खान आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस चैनल हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड लाइफ स्टाइल वेयर आई स्पीक अबाउट अवर प्रोडक्ट अवर प्रोटोकॉल अबाउट इम्यूनोथेरेपी व्हाट वी डू वी आर बेसिकली इनटू कैंसर इम्यूनोथेरेपी लास्ट टाइम आई इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू यू दिस इज अफर्ट टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश फॉर दोज व्यूवर्स who are able to understand me in hindi you know india is a very big vast country where so many languages are spoken and so many dialects are there i don't know any other except hindi urdu or hindustani you say as well as english english is also not that fluent english which usually people speak those who are born with english i am born in india so and i have been taught in up so i am sure that you would uh, allow me to speak in my tutti putti english and will be able to understand whatever i say last time i made one video and this is the second video which i am going to present to you regarding cancer cell based immunotherapy or active immunotherapy why it is so uncommon and why those viewers or patients who listen to me have never heard about it or they have some sankoch or hesitancy in knowing why it is not available all over the area all over the hospitals being personalized in nature the technology is quite uh, uh, secured i can say not easily available in the books not taught in the medical colleges although it has been having uh, evidence i mean it is present for last maybe uh, 30 years for last 20 years i am practicing in india along with my wife dr sharmin and about 10 years ago before that about 30 years ago it was started by professor steenman who is no more now and he was awarded nobel prize on this technology so when you talk of a technology which has been awarded nobel prize means it has to be available over the globe every patient should deserve to know about immunotherapy and should also if if he can afford it should also get it now as you know uh, i have tried to explain why it is not available because the technology is still in uh, secret places like those who have research in this area who have mastered the art of the cell therapy can only practice cell therapy the whole issue is taking your blood sample isolating the cd14 cells the white blood cells a peculiar type of white blood cells not all cells are useful for dendritic cell therapy cd14 cells which we isolate in the lab culture them in the laboratory at 37 degree temperature the body temperature in the laboratory for 8 days and then finally collecting them after transforming them into cancer fighting dendritic cells and giving them back to the patient so this technology is appearing to be too simple but it is not at all that simple because if you keep anything in external environment at 37 degree temperature definitely you would allow other microbes to grow into it so it will never be a sterile environment keeping it for so long in sterile environment is still a big task and a challenge which no lab would be able to do although i must say there are labs who can do but it is a very tedious task the most difficult task in the whole process of cell culture is keeping cells live intact and infection free for so long one thing we have achieved we have achieved it for last 20 years and thankfully all our patients have never reported any adverse effect where they have to be admitted in the hospital because if i introduce infection in the blood stream it they will end up into septicemia a condition which is quite grave and a patient would require hospitalization and intensive care facilities for his survival to so god forbid touch wood we have never encountered this phenomena we are quite sure that whatever we are injecting back to you is sterile safe and is also coming from your own blood sample we have so many check mechanisms there in the laboratory one thing second thing is why your oncologist is not promoting it the next question is why they don't ask you to go for cell therapy 
First thing is because collective conscience of oncologist says whatever all oncologists do, they will also do the same. They will not deviate from their normal path. This is something abnormal and this is not in their domain. What they practice, what they do is basically pharma based pro protocols. They buy a product, ask their pharmacy to keep that product in the pharmacy and when you re re visit to their hospital, they will say that this medicine has to be used on you. Immunotherapies are also there in the market which are passive immunotherapies which are usually given to those patients who have particular gene mutations in them. So the oncologist will ask for a particular test. If test comes positive, you may be given a passive immunotherapy. The common phrase when you ask from their oncologist, your own oncologist, what is this cell based therapy? They say it is a good therapy, but it will not work for you. How come? How will they know it is will not work for you? On what basis they say? Because cancer per se is the same. It has happened because of mutation and immune response failing to recognize cancer cells. It can happen in any organ. We have given the name of organs in our body. God has not given us organs. There is a system where a cancer cell develops from any organ. The mutation will happen. And there is a system which is in the blood which will protect that mutation not to repeat itself or it will be killed. The cancer cell will be killed. So, divide of any organ, immune therapy works for all cancers. Please understand me, it is very wrong to say that in this cancer it will not work. The second aspect which they say is, it is in trials. For how long these trials will go? I will ask them. You should also ask them. For 30 years trials will go. A medicine which is identified, new molecule which is identified comes to the market in 3 years. So, after 30 years also they will say that this is in trials because when an institution, a research institution, an academic institution does a research, they do it in some patients and then they say that further studies are required. By that time, the whole concept is buried. Pharmaceutical industry will not take this project further because they have nothing to sell in the market. The business sense is lacking here. Cell based therapies do not have business sense. But please understand me, this is your life. You have to get yourself treated. You need to understand what is the best for you. How any other person can judge your life? You can take help of his acumen, his knowledge, his precision, but you know that to a certain extent cancer is said as grave disease. Cancer leads to death. People always are afraid to even speak about cancer because when you equate cancer, it, you equate it with death. So please, you have to understand, you tell your oncologist. Sir, Mehrbani karke, please allow me or if you are not allowing me, I will go myself to dendritic cell therapy. I will not wait for your decision because you will decide when I will have nothing left for me. I don't want that to happen. In my last lecture also I have spoken, both therapies can be given simultaneously. If you have a period interval between two chemotherapies of 50 days interval, then third day of chemotherapy, post chemotherapy. You are given say day one chemotherapy, day third, fourth is a good day for immunotherapy. Why so? Because chemotherapy has a very short half life. Half life means I am given a product, a drug. This drug is metabolized by the liver or by the kidney and it is excreted within 24 hours from the body. The side effects may persist for weeks together. But the active ingredient of that drug is not present in my body. So, I am fit and competent to take cell based therapy third day. Why I am choosing third day? Because cells will go, they will start functioning, those they should have no chemo drug during that period of time. Once they start producing T cells, start acknowledging the cancer cells, they will do their job. Because immune system remains competent in cancer patients also. 
apart from this particular immune response which we are generating, other immune systems are all functioning. So you do immunotherapy, by the time you receive second chemotherapy, the, the, the next chemotherapy, the cells may go into oblivion for some days, again you give a second shot. So if you are repeating these protocols on a regular basis, these patients I have seen in my 20 years of practice outperform those who are only receiving chemotherapy. This has been recently vowed by my medical oncologist who has joined me, Dr. Ajay Sharma, who was associated with a big hospital in Delhi for 15 years. He was just 5 years juniors to me, junior to me. So he understood how the protocol goes by patients kept going to other hospitals also. So he understood that look, this is something science and he read and then he finally decided that he should join me. You can go and you, this video is in Hindi. You can see this, his video also. I will ask him to speak on this subject again in English for you viewers. So we have a radiation oncologist also, Dr. Reddy, whose video is right now here in front of you. He has also spoken earlier. Probably his video is in English also. So uh, I would ask you that we have a strong team, although very small team in comparison to other hospitals. But those people who are associated with us are all having a background of oncology, conventional oncology. So my, our clinic, our nursing home has a facility where we have chemotherapy, immunotherapy, both given to the patient. And we have ICU unit also. Supposedly, God forbid, your patient is serious and he requires to be shifted to ICU only. We have a facility where you can shift your patient to ICU and you can start giving him immunotherapy. And I have seen in my practice that those patients who are given immunotherapy in ICU setups also have recovered to a large extent. Out of 10, 3 patients have recovered. So this topic I will keep continuing in English. And I would ask you for your suggestions, your questions. And thank you so much for listening to me and subscribing to my channel. God bless you. Namaskar. Jai Hind.